What's going on everybody, Michael McWhorter here. Today we got some more AI tools to review. Sorry for the delay, I've been a little busy. As you can see, new apartment, but I did another AI tool review earlier in the video while I was in this apartment, so I really have no excuses. Please be sure to stick to the end of the video because these AI tools are sick. They do awesome stuff, whether you're a content creator, and there's just a really cool website that I wanna show you where you can find all the awesome AI tools. So without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, here's the Awesome Future Tools website. This site was made by Wet Wolf. it's really cool. I like it a lot. It's got a lot of future tools in here, and you can see there's about Ooh, that's not right. Let's go ahead and refresh this page. There it is, 2,661 future tools, ranging in things from like chats and aggregators to inspiration. You can make things like motion capture, music, copywriting, finance, and all you have to do is click on them and it sorts them down below. We'll just go ahead and select a couple here. See, bam, auto cut. Premiere, plug in, automate, silence, remove, add, animate captions, and other video editing, because I have inspiration, prompt guides, motion capture, video editing, and finance. But Really cool how it's all filtered like that right there. I come down here to the most upvoted tab, and that's how we get to the most upvoted ones. You see this one has like 10,000 upvotes to reveal AI. I've already done a lot of AI tools reviews on most of these, so we're gonna go ahead and pick up where we left off. If you wanna see the rest of the reviews on these, please leave uh, this video after it's done, and go ahead and check out the rest of the channel because I have reviewed all of these. But without further ado, let's pick up where we left off. Okay, and starting off with a really good one here, we have Leonardo AI. Let me show you what I got here. Boom, Leonardo AI is an AI tool that uses AI to create stunning game assets such as items, environments, helmets, buildings, and concept art. Great for that. And it enables users to rapidly ideate, train their own models, and create unique production-ready assets with artist-ready interface. Users can assign up to exclusive early access to the platform. Here's what it looks like. You gotta sign up here. Pretty cool. Speed, consistency, and style included in the production of the high quality assets. After you get signed up here, go ahead and make an account. All right, so yeah, this is a pretty cool AI tool right here. Uh, hop right in and you can see that there's a lot of image generation, real-time canvases, canvas creator. That's really cool. You can go in there and edit, refine, add details, remove unwanted elements. Let's see if I can zoom in on this for you here. Oh yeah, there we go. Let's just open it up. Okay. That's pretty cool. I can lock it around right there. Let's see if we can add something. Let's do a uh, sketch going. We're going to do like a, hmm, like a smiley face. Yes. A little laggy here. Let's see if we can refresh the page. Very interesting. No, it's just slow like that. Okay, I'm going to use the mouse pad then. No? Huh. All right. Oh my gosh, this is janky. Why is this so hard to use? And I guess I'm just going to say, uh... There we go. Two nations fighting over waterways. Let's see what it comes up with. I don't know. I just... It was off the top of my head. So I guess I can check that and then see the progression. I'll go ahead and accept it. And now, this is weird. I don't know how this works. <laughs> What's this mask? Let's go ahead and generate lightning with that prompt right there. We're just kind of exploring as we go along. Hmm. Well, it's official to say I don't know what I'm doing. So we're just going to go back to the example here. Real-time generation allow for real-time generation while you type. That's pretty cool. Huh. We'll try that one out. Maybe this one will be a better. A frog. Oh, nice. On a log <laughs> with a dog. <laughs> this is great. Um, in a bog. Yes. <laughs> this is, this is, okay. So this is pretty cool. Let's see. A cat on a hat chewing a mat. Is he going to chew the mat? No, he didn't chew the mat. Um, <laughs> look at the cat. <laughs> this is cool. Oh, look at that. That space changes things. I wonder if I put like a comma. Does that do anything different? Kind of? What about dot, dot, dot? Ooh, dot, dot, dot does give some difference. That's really cool. I like this. Um, let's make this full anime. No kids. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. Nice. Folklore, folk art. We don't need any folk art. We don't need any coloring book. We just need full anime and no kids. I just, oh! <laughs> Uh, I have created horrors abom abominant horrors above imagination. All right, so there we go. So tune in anime. What if we just bring these down a little bit? We're trying to get an anime look. So I guess we want full art in that illustration if we're trying to go for that look. All right, coloring brick will bring that down a bit. Um, no, now we're getting more anthropomorphic. We want a cat. All right, let's go with, all right, well, I like the cat so far. I'm gonna reset it. I'm just gonna reset it and let it actually be what it is because these are realistic. So a cat on a hat chewing a mat. Um, flying on top of a kite. <laughs> That's great. That's amazing. This is wild. I guess it's looking up pre-made images that other people have made before. Um, on a pink cloud. <gasps> yes. <laughs> this is awesome. Okay. Um. 
in an M1 battle tank. <laughs> you are not ready for what we have coming for you. Oh my gosh, these are amazing. Let's do a random seed. Whoa, you can keep, you can just keep resetting it here. Oh yeah, that's what we like to see. Sergeant Mittens. <laughs> That's sick. That's really cool. What do we have here? Dynamic. Let's go with product. That's kind of cool. Um, so you have all these different settings here. Anime, cinematic. Let's do anime. Yeah, that's pretty anime right there. Uh, we're going to do some more random seeds, though, to see if it can do better anime. It does okay anime. Nothing too... That's a bit... That's kind of close right there. Uh, let's go with the painting. Let's go with a sketch, black and white. Well, that's a rhinoceros looking thing. Let's go ahead and see if it can do that again. There we go. It's not black and white, though. So it does str struggle with that. Let's go with a ray traced... Took away the turret. Interesting. Oh, it's a UFO. There we go. <laughs> this is amazing. Um, firing fish missiles. Let's see if this. <laughs> let's see if this does anything. <laughs> we weren't ready for when they invaded. <laughs> they took over our armor, our weaponry, and used it against us. They took the air, they took the clouds, they took the skies. <laughs> Humanity was wiped out within days. <laughs> oh, it's great. Okay, well, this is the greatest thing ever. So that's real-time generation, image creation, create illustrations, and more with prompts, real-time canvas. Uh, create and transform your sketches into art in real-time. I guessed it. Were we just trying to do this? No, we weren't. We were trying to do the other thing, and it was slow. So this is interactive dynamic mode, and you can just kind of draw something, and it does something. So the prompt is going to be um, Elon Musk. Ooh, whoa, look at that. If I go back a bit, M-U-S Musk. Weird. Okay, and I'm just going to have, like, this. Oh, I see how it's doing. That's kind of cool. Look at that. And I'm going to be like... Smiley face. See if it does that. Oh, so it's kind of taking a car. And it's going to be like, these are going to be his eyes. There we go. And now his hair. There we go. And then his eyes. Put him a little bit lower so we can see. <laughs> his nose. It should change this here soon, as soon as it detects that, like, this is a face. Oh, he looks so depressed in that one. So this is the hair. <laughs> Interesting. So maybe if we put it all together, it'll know what this is. Did the Tesla steering wheel. Uh, got the face back again i guess when i put the ear there so now i have all the features of the face and we're just gonna do like this and we're just gonna draw <laughs> my drawing skills are impeccable as you can see elon musk giga chad Let's see how this works oh my god what have i done <laughs> all right let's start over because i go ahead and trash all that confirm boom and we're gonna have whoa let's see darth vader versus Versus Ronald McDonald. The battle of all time. Let's see if we can do this. <laughs> what did it do to his head? <laughs> Two Darth Vader's. Um, what if I did... Okay, hang on. What if I did this? Fighting. Hmm. Okay, so it kind of can go as I go along. What if I did... Okay, we're going to do some... We're going to do... So I can't really do... Oh, you can add your own images. That's cool. Hmm. What's this? Size of my brush. Oh, look at that. Wow. That's really cool. That's a cool feature right there. <laughs> yeah, no, this is really cool, actually. So now you can be like, uh, this is actually, this is actually gonna go like, what's this? What's this button do? Move forward, move forward. All right, so we're gonna bring this in front. And we're, okay, so now we're gonna take this section right here and try and move it backwards. Anything? No change? Nothing. All right, we're gonna change some color then. We'll go with red. And we'll put red like right here. Oh, sorry, sorry. Do like red right there. We'll do like, whoa. <laughs> you want my cupcake? <laughs> Everybody wants my cupcake. I'm trying to make fire. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> dance, little man, dance. <laughs> and with all the Vaders in the background, this pleases the Vader. <laughs> Really gives like spiky hair or something. I don't know. I kind of like that other one. Wait, go back. Oh, come on, come on. There it is. Nobody move. <laughs> All right, we're gonna reset this again. And let's go with. We have cats. We have Darth Vader. Let's go with cars. Cars, the movie. Um, actually, <laughs> Lightning McQueen. Kachiga. <laughs> There it is. Uh, darn, darn, the car's gonna take a second. Hang on. Um, life is a highway. I wanna ride it. 
all along. Dun, 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 dun. If you're coming my way, I wanna ride it all night long. Dun, dun, dun. I'm probably singing this song wrong. Let's get in a car. That's pretty cool. It's kind of cool how it like knows what I'm trying to do too. It's like this is my t so this is no one would ever be able to tell that this is a car right here like at all, but like. And it just switched it. <laughs> Look at what it did. So I had car, and I, that's the back of the car, and I said, okay, front of car. And it's just like, oh, okay. Whoop. <laughs> it just switches the, the tail lights to the headlights. And I'm just going to, like, draw some random stuff on there and see what it gets. Yeah, this is this is how your cars are made. This is <laughs> this is how they design the next model. They let some monkey. <laughs> All right, then we're going to get, like, oh, yeah, some green. They like green. Everybody likes green. Let's get some. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's good. <laughs> I swear this is how they designed the newest car. And then we're going to get some yellow. And they're gonna be like sprinkle, sprinkle yellow dots in there, just a little bit, you know, just like a little bit, of, a little bit of yellow here and there and there. Oh, that's nice, that's nice. And you got it. There's your new car. <laughs> Introducing the Volkswagen Beetle Plus Tour de France Alt Superbug. <laughs> like, <laughs> we got the front design. <laughs> look at this. Look at all this over here, and then tell me how it turns into this right here. That's great. Ooh, Mr. Ream. That's cool. All right, the editor's really awesome. I'll give the editor a nine out of 10. That's great. Motion, here's what I really want to do. Motion, huh? Motion is our cutting edge feature that puts you in director seat, revolutionize the process with quick, one quick generated video. Simply click image to motion button in any of the AI image gen page on your feed. When your video generation process an AI gen page in your personal feed, got it. All right, select an image. Let's go ahead and select an image of ourselves. Upload your plan to bring these uploads to motion. Your uploads, your generations, community feed. We're just going to take a community feed one. And I think we're, we're going to try and take this lady because uh, it just seems like it would be the easiest to animate. Motion strength, about medium, visibility. We'll do public. Uh, and we're going to use some of our coins here. I think we have coins, right? Generating. View video in motion AI gen or personal feed when complete. View generation. I want to see it happening. 7%, 8%. That's really cool. You got all these features on the side here, but don't let them overwhelm you. Uh, guidance scale, advanced controls, ratios, public images. If you want it to be shown to the public, alchemy V2. And if you ever get lost at any of what these is, you can see that these question marks beside it let you know. Like, for example, alchemy. Leonardo alchemy is a powerful new image generation pipeline. Click the question mark for more information. Sure thing. What the heck is this? Welcome to Leonardo Alchemy, our signature image pipeline, which brings premium, high fidelity image generation and coherence to all. I think we already reviewed this, but uh, Alchemy V2, uh, new bespoke, powerful pipeline, utilizes wide range, wide range of powerful tools, upscale your image and unlock premium channels. But we don't want to do that. We want to wait for this thing. Uh, image guidance, prompt generation, Leonardo. Ooh. Leonardo. Oh, look at that. Whoa. Whoa. Dang. That's crazy. Let me see if I can edit this. Wow, that's remarkable. The flowing there. Now, it'd be cool if she was kind of like just a little bit of movement in her body because she looks extreme. If the if it could just put a little motion in her body. Like you can see there's a little bit of motion in the hand here. You can see the, the thumb in the hand, so that looks really good. But she needs to be twisting ever so slightly to be just, just perfect. Because if they had that down, you'd have the hair looks perfect. The dress looks perfect. The waves look perfect. But her body, her just like standing there motionless is eerie. <laughs> Great. The battery is below 50%. I mean, I'm gonna have to wrap this video up. <laughs> but still, this is a cool one. Ooh, one image. Why did I click four images? That's wild. We're gonna go back to Leonardo AI, and then we're gonna explore what everybody else did. After we review these right here, which take like two seconds. So this is the homepage right here with all the home stuff. This is the community feed. Bam, where you can see all the stuff that people have made. This is the personal feed, which you have animated. Training and data sets. So um, create your own data set and start training it for incredible results. Kind of like prompt engineering, kind of like Kind of, sort of. Uh, there should be a question mark around here that allows us to explore it further. What's going on? It's empty here. Create your own data set. Let's just, let's explore it like one sec. Okay, so the data set name and the data set description, and then I guess you kind of like just, get, it's extra guidance for the models. Fine tune models. Here we see some of the um, community fine tune models, like this one. Diffusion based text to image guide generated video. Leonardo. Uh, Kino XL, a model with a strong focus on cinematic outputs, excels at wider aspects ratios, and does not need a negative prompt. So that's pretty good. Let's see if we get something that's very specific right here. A powerful model created by XPuck T that is great for both photorealism and artistic creations, just kind of animated there. This model can create a broad range of imagery with a vintage style. So this, there we go, that's a good example. Vintage style photography just kind of keeps giving your images that vintage look. This one is pixel art, turns obviously just keeps doing pixel art. So again, these are things that help you just narrow down your design. User tools, image generation. Oh no, I've done so this is what we've already explored, image generation. 
Real-time canvas, which we've worked with. Real-time generator, canvas editor, motion, texture. Uh, obviously, we've already worked with motion, texture generation, API access where you can kind of get your API key. But let's go to the community feed now. I told you I was going to be quick. So first things first, we're going to go and see what is in the trending here with all of the ones in all categories. And I don't know what this is. What if I, let's see what happens. Okay, that's what we want. We want full screen. Rolling down the line. Really cool animations here. Uh, actually, really. Ooh, ooh. Why did you put two fingers or three fingers on the mouse pad? It's only two. All right, this is cool. So, bam. Uh, massive, highly detailed explosion of blocks and particles busting from the center, forming a shape of the creeper face. Kind of the creeper face, but it doesn't really have a nose. It's blocks and particles, whatever. Really cool. This one's pretty sweet. Montage of hurricane and typhoons hitting coastal. Oh, gosh. Uh, hurricanes, typhoons. So this says a montage, huh? So is there multiple related images, starry night-like images? Um, we want to see if there's multiple, and I don't see image to motion. Oh, let's make this thing in motion. Come on. While that's generating, <laughs> I really want to see that. Um, I'm going to go back to what other people have generated just because that's really pretty. Uh, this is cool. Night, forest, black, frown, and municipal illustrations. Uh, magic term, black leather boots with red gold details and poetry. Yeah, that's pretty sweet right there. Mm-hmm. 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 This one's cool. Transport the viewer to a futuristic cityscape. In Lego City! Transport the viewer to a futuristic cityscape where advanced technology integrates with future bike designs. Yeah, that's a pretty sweet design. It looks like a... Uh, a tri bike though, but you know that might be two wheels. Depends on the the vision. Nice based. Make an impressive full body picture of a extremely attractive twenty nine year old Italian man, good looking, muscled, medium hair, long beard, dressed. Oh yeah, that's it. What's this? Asuga Langley, Soryu, a fourteen year old character from Neon. Okay, Neon Genesis. So that's pretty sweet. Uh, what else we got? That's actually kind of cool and useful to people. Ooh, look at that! If you run an ad, a plate of crispy. <laughs> It's just, it's just a plate of crispy. That's it. <laughs> Cuts off right there. Plate of crispy golden chicken strips and tender chicken nuggets glistening in the warm sunlight outside. New at McDonald's. Get it while supplies last. Not available in all countries. <laughs> Shipping times may vary. Oh, look at that. Muscular teenage ninja turtle in an imposing position with a dark background, but with vibrant colors on his body. That's pretty cool. These are great. Okay, so that is good for trending. Let's go with stuff that's upscaled. Uh -huh. We're gonna go ahead with stuff that is new. New upscaled stuff, like this is recent. Took images and kind of just promoted them. I don't know why someone wants a professor so badly. Maybe they're trying to make a game. Yeah, he, they really want this professor. <laughs> Isaac Newton. Maybe, oh, maybe it's like a teacher trying to create cool posts for their, uh... that's really cool, man. Somewhere, a teacher's creating posts. I just like to think this for their class, and they're gonna print these out and print them around the room. And like, look, imagine if you're like a high school kid and you see this, like this is what you see right here. Oh man, I would be so enthralled. I'd be like, wow, this is captivating. This is, oh, I'd be, and then the teacher would say something, I'd be like, oh, that's so cool. <laughs> Instead of these boring, like green frogs that you see on the cover of every biology book. <laughs> All right, that's pretty cool right there. Look at that, boom. Say. Got the cool freaking design going. Dude, that's cool. Oh, wow. Look at the detail. Look at the level of illustration there. Oh my gosh. Down to the, the moles and just just like the, every little strand of hair and the eyelashes. Ooh, remarkable. Very remarkable. What else we got? Beyonce Black Suit View 2090 Holographic. All right. Let's go to... So we got... Oh, let's go. Let's get it down to photography here. We're going to do trending. All. So we cover all the topics. We've seen some of these before. That's pretty cool. Explore the depths of the universe with the James Webb Telescope. Deep in the heart of our galaxy flies the James Webb Telescope. Capturing images beyond Earth's horizon in the cosmic void of space. There's a big space theme over here. <laughs> oh, dog. Nice. All right. We're looking for something a little bit better here. So we're, we're looking for the uh, the motion. Oh, there we go. Never mind. What am I talking about? Motion right there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> a cute, tiny, very small rainbow colored cat sits in a female finger. Look at that. Look at that thing, dude. Oh, wow. That's great. These are cool. Tool flying jellyfish. I am slightly horrified. <laughs> They're like super bees now, dude. They come to land. We're done. <laughs> Could you imagine going outside and seeing a jellyfish just like floating midair? Like I like like those big ones that are in the deep sea that have like like 50 feet long tendrils and are just super electric. And you're sitting there like, oh, yeah, that's horrifying. <laughs> you can't you can't go to your car because it's like wrapped up on your car. <laughs> oh, nice. Chihuahua, you come into my homeland and you try and fight me. Well, you must fight me and my amigos. <laughs> me amigos. <laughs> Cool. Oh, that bunny's pretty good. Bunny's not moving too much in that one, though. I get Rango vibes from this. This dude's on a trip. Oh, no, monkey. Abandoned reason. 
This is pretty cool. Whoa, a gentle snow dragon hugs a white cat with fluff. And look at the, look at that. That is, yeah, animators are gonna be dunzo for sure. Cause this is, you can see there's problems here. Like this paw kind of just disappears into, the, it's weird. Um, But for the most part, look at this background, this ear right here. See, it's not like changing too much. Snowfall in the background, this cat, there's a little bit of distortion on the back hair, a little bit of distortion on the face, but like there are ones out there now, AI images out there that don't do these problems where they don't have like the Paul just appearing, the weird kind of distortion. But like, look at this section right here, right there. Nothing is wrong with that. That is so nice. So video games, movies, editors, directors, filmmakers, recorders, cameramen, gone. Boom. Because now it's just going to be AI generated like Disney done, you know, Ooh, related videos. These are cool. What would my audience want to see? Everybody likes Dune for some reason. I like Dune too, I guess. That's pretty cool. That's pretty sweet. All right. I think a lot of people don't realize that with Dune, or maybe they just like haven't like, I don't know, but it's extremely, extremely, excruciatingly hot, like all the time. <laughs> Shark, that's pretty sweet. Yeah, could you imagine being like anywhere and seeing that thing? Ooh, I get nightmares just thinking about it. This horse, why does it have so many eyes? Oh, oh, it has two fins. Oh, it's an alien shark. I'm getting, I'm out, I'm out. That thing could probably fly like the jellyfish. I'm out of here. Oh, please tell me that's, oh, it's trying to get the wheels. You can see it's trying to get the wheels there. But again, if you look at Sora AI, it can do that. It can generate the e wheels. It can generate the dog's head easily. So this is really cool. This one's pretty sweet too. All right, so we got the motion. We got all, let's go ahead and do, let's look at the anime ones because maybe they'll get better. Like this one, somehow, somehow they got perfect anime here. Illustrated character with manga style. That's probably why. Um, Looking for anything, Japanese animation right there. Yep, yep. So you need to get very, very specific with what you want to see. There we go. That's a little, that's a better one there. Um, So I gave it the exact style with brackets, double brackets, which probably helps it narrow it down. Uh, Fan Final Fantasy X right there, as you can see. So that's another thing for it to pick from the more you give these models the better they'll do um dog all right let's go with architecture this is a nice one too i like, like architecture and you know no one's really making they should do a difference between architecture and landscape because this is landscape where's my where's my uh there we go that's there we go my architecture enthusiasts nice i might have said that completely wrong and i apologize if i do but i felt compelled oh that's nice right there. That's like very like Tucson, Arizona, or like Phoenix, or like New Mexico style. Mmm, noise. I'm looking for the, uh, I'm looking for something specific. I'm looking, I'm not exactly sure what, but I, I'll know it when I see it. It'll be fulfilling, to say the least. I guess like a Roman cathedral or something, you know? We've seen the insides. I'm kind of looking for the outsides. This one's pretty sweet. View of production industry factory. And it should load right here. Ooh, nice. Look at those railways. Like it's old. This is like factorial almost. Very steam. Very steam. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Go back. Did you see him? Jesus. Jesus. Nice. That's amazing. That's beautiful. Man, the art world's gonna be so blessed to have all this. This is cool. A massive medieval battle outside the walls of a castle from the top of the perspective with the pipeline in alchemy. So they must have edited this. Yeah, see, they didn't get this on the first try. They used like alchemy and stuff like that. And of course, this is what happens when you try to out pizza the hut. Even in the deep, dark, deathless void of space, you do not try to out pizza the hut. <laughs> All right, I'm looking for, oh, that's pretty cool right there. Satellite tower, probably for like a horror game or something. Mm -hmm. Telephone tower, foggy area, forest below cinematic resolution, quite quiet, night, ultra realistic. Yeah, sweet. I'm not leaving till I find my architecture. Boom, found it. Of course, this is a little, I mean, they used sampler Leonardo, but it's just a little sloppy, like kind of distorted there. They need to get in there and fix it up. Of course, other AI tools do it automatically and for free. Remember the Great War that happened? We lost so many good men. Look at this chicken! Oh no! Look at that chicken right there! <laughs> Toasted! <laughs> he was the strongest amongst us. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's great. I wonder if the AI found like a prompt somewhere or a thing where it's somewhere where it's like AI chickens can last with their heads cut off for X amount of time. That's awesome. But yeah, that was Leonardo AI. Leonardo AI is pretty great. I really like it. Uh, let's look at some frequently asked questions here. How do I use it? What makes it different? Um, we're just, you know, you can get all these answer questions answered if you have any kind of like insights, like can Leonardo be used for free? How does they work? What uh, does it have access to? How does it, how do I get access to it? Is it suitable for beginners? Uh, do I need coding skills? Leonardo uh, does not need kidding, uh, coding skills. Quickly can I generate immediately any opportunities for business or enterprise? 
at that. B2B enterprise applications. Any business in a consistent, effective, quality, efficient platform. Invaluable. For more information, Leonardo. How do I get involved in the Leonardo community? Very cool. Very, ooh, there's an affiliate program. Oh, nice. Nice. I just sent up, uh, signed up for the affiliate program. That's pretty sweet. If you guys want to go ahead and support the channel, you can go ahead and use that affiliate link down below. I'll leave it in the description. Uh, if you found this video funny, all you have to do is, and you want to use Leonardo AI, you can go ahead and click on that and it'll uh, shoot you over there and you can use your stuff. Uh, I get a little bit of uh, whatever you spend. So if you spend like, I guess like 10 bucks, uh, that's all your 10 bucks, but then Leonardo AI pays me probably like 80 cents. I don't know. But uh, <laughs> anyways, thank you guys for watching. You guys rock. Um, leave a comment so I can know what you guys want to see next. Leave a like, please, and go ahead and subscribe. Go ahead and subscribe, because you guys are the best. I love making these videos for you guys. They're always a blast, and I'll catch you in the next one. I'll leave you uh, up to date with all the AI news if you subscribe to me. So, yes, I like to make these videos because they're great, and they're just informative, and they're fun, and it's just, like, a, a way better thing than just, like, watching, like, random stuff and desk scrolling, you know? You get informed, you get entertained, and you get to, like, find something that could be useful for you in your career down the line. It's a win-win all around. So thank you. Once again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Stay safe out there. Peace.